show me everything. Honestly, when I saw this trailer, my brain is saying Capcom is not thinking. Right before the trailer, you show a literal collection of anime fighting games made by your company, Capcom, that you're going to try to put out on the 24th. And then you say, skip all that, forget all that, just watch this hyper-realistic trailer, even though we know we were built off of these anime games. So they know, but they're expecting us, the Capcom fans, to be like old Ryu, always there and brooding, waiting for the next challenger, but we're not, and we're getting tired of it. And this stupidity here is going to get us, it's going to get me, I'm going to end up buying another Arc System game. I want to know. I really want to know who at Capcom thought to themselves, let's make hyper-realistic characters do anime moves and watch it sell. Like this was an original idea. They tried this before. Dragon Ball Z tried to make a realistic movie with characters doing anime moves. And what happened? It flopped. Cowboy Bebop. Once an anime, not even doing anything too crazy, and that flopped. Final Fantasy Spirits Within. They took out all the favorite characters, put some other foolishness in it, and it flopped. You literally, at the beginning of this trailer, Capcom, put out a trailer of a collection of anime fighting games that is responsible for building up your brand. And then you're gonna look your fans dead in the face after you get nothing to show us like a, a 40 second trailer of a hyper realistic game that's the complete opposite you tried a, a, a realistic looking street fighter game before remember with john claude van damme and what happened to that movie it flopped so now once again you're going to try to create hyper realistic characters and you're going to have them doing anime moves the rest of your 3D model characters need to be anime looking or more cartoonish. Your most famous game, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, is based off a bunch of anime style Marvel and Street Fighter characters. That's what people want to see. That's what's made you legendary. And I said this three weeks ago in my last video, if you're going to do 3D, make sure it looks pretty or anime style. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite failed. This is, I just really want to know who at Capcom looked at this and said, you know what? Our last couple of games failed, so we're going to dig our heels in more, and we're going to make another version of this. Like, what? It's stupid. Let me tell you what this is going to do. This is going to alienate a lot of your old fans at the cost of you trying to get some new fans who aren't interested in this game anyway. Look at the CPT finals last night. Street Fighter V, watching Daigo fight whoever was playing uh, Ice Girl there. That was boring, man. Because Street Fighter V is a boring game to watch when it looks somewhat realistic. And yes, I understand we had the fake Doomsday Clock, which didn't even go off at the time that was set. But making a more hyper-realistic game so that we can have an even more boring Street Fighter to watch? Nobody asked for that. Let me tell you what we're going to do, because this is what's going to happen. I'm going to go buy Arc Systems games. And you know what my initial reaction was when I saw this trailer? I kept trying to get myself hyped over it. I like the way Luke looks, because his last character design was so bad, it was so bland, it was so boring, that they really can not go wrong making him look like the Joker and look insane. Maybe he'll be more of a antagonist than protagonist. But what really made me crazy was when I looked at that trailer and said, I'm going to go buy King of Fighters. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I looked at a Street Fighter trailer and said, dang, this is not going to work. I'm going to go buy King of Fighters. Dang. Got somebody get my skills up in Guilty Gear. Dang, happy Android 21 is coming out. Like, how do you mess up something? And here's the other problem with this, right? 
I've had more than two years because at the beginning of the last DLC season, there was an expectation for Street Fighter 6 to come out, but it didn't. So you took another year to work on it. And I did say that in my last video as well. Take as much time as you need making the right game. But you're not making the right game right now. And you said summer 2022? You're going to have some more news? Y'all had a year to work on this game. And you don't even have a gameplay trailer. What I'm seeing right now with this Street Fighter 6 little uh, cinematic clip is Anthem vibes. For y'all who don't know about Anthems, look at the game Anthem. Anthem had this really hype trailer. I forgot at what game show. They showed it to the producer, but didn't have none of that in game. And why did they not show the gameplay? Because depending on how the gameplay looks, people might get shut off from it. So you show something that was semi-safe. It's kind of hype but it's not really guaranteed to get classic Capcom fans interested. And that's what you're looking at here. Anthem vibes. Real hype, 40 second cinematic. That's really not what's gonna be reflected in the game. Because common sense tells me, even all those high definition graphics that we're seeing there, and people say this Unreal Engine, whatever and all like that, it's not gonna look like that anyway. So you're going to give us not even that version of what you just saw. It's going to be a toned down version of hyper realistic graphics. And it's going to look boring or it's going to look crazy. Have these human beings. Well, human being looking like uh, anime moved characters doing all these things is basically it just looks boring. And it's going to be whack. Whatever, Capcom is up to you. Do do it, um, whatever floats your boat. As for me, though, I'm gonna let King of Fighters finish downloading and Guilty Gear. I'm gonna watch it. But what's gonna make or break this game for me is how to design Akuma. Because the problem is, Akuma is not a human being. I mean, he, he's obviously human, but what I mean, his design was not made to look human. The, the dude is always, and if I use that big and bulky, Akuma has to be bigger. He has to be giant. Or does it doesn't make sense? Are you going to downsize Akuma? But Akuma has always been bigger than Ryu in, in, in sorts, right? Especially uh, in the animes. In a Street Fighter game, sure, you can get away with it. But whatever. Um, so what are your thoughts, Deep Mind? This is, I just had to rant and get it off my chest. But this was not this was not what I was looking for, man. This is the exact opposite of what I hoped. And so this may be the end of an era. Capcom, you can pass that torch over to Arc System and let them handle it for there.